Hi, Les from The Keto Diet from Fat to Slim. This is the end of my week 10 on the keto diet and I'm still going strong and I'm still enjoying the keto diet. I just want everybody to know how it's going because those people who've been following me, they'll have noticed on week nine, I actually didn't lose any weight on week nine. So on week nine, the end of week nine, I was 96.9 kilo. So listen on a little bit further on the video and I'll tell you whether I've actually lost any weight or not. Use the keto. I've got to say the keto works for me. Maybe it doesn't work for everybody. Maybe it's, it's a wrong diet for some people, but I found it very, very easy. And many people have asked me, what do I drink on the keto diet? Um, well, plenty of water. Water is good for you. And that's actually calorie free with water. So no problem whatsoever. And I'm going to put some photographs here. There's a lemon and lime drink, which is zero calories. Coke Zero, I have quite a lot of that, which is zero calories. And I also Sprite, which is sugar-free, zero calories. So there's plenty to drink from, so it never gets boring. I also drink the coffee with the cream, so there's plenty to drink. Again, I'll put some photographs up here. These, this is all the food I've been eating over the 10 weeks that I've been doing the diet. I've mainly stuck to the same type of food because I enjoy the food. I enjoy what I cook, I enjoy what I prepare myself. And of course, I'm only on one meal a day. So it, it isn't a lot of cooking and preparing. Eating one meal a day and doing intermittent fasting from six o'clock in the evening until 12 o'clock the following day. I've never really been a breakfast person anyway, so I don't miss breakfast and I have my first meal at 12 o'clock, between 12 o'clock and one o'clock the following day. And the, the weight is still coming off and I'm still going strong. And although many people say the keto diet, you don't feel hungry, it is true. Once you become keto tolerant, then your fridge is always full because your body, like me, I'm still overweight. The fridge is always full. It's still got plenty of fat for your body to to take the energy from and that's what it does and gradually week by week it goes down. So instead of heading for the biscuits, go on the keto diet. You can cook what you want. There are many, many different snacks. I've got a sweet tooth. So before I used to eat lots of biscuits. So here, that, this is one of the desserts I've had every single day of my 10 weeks that I've been doing the keto diet and I make it myself and it's the Keto Cheesecake Fluff. You can either have a cheesecake fluff with peanut butter, with chocolate, or rum. There's many different ways of, of doing the Keto Cheesecake. And it's really, really nice, and it hits the spot as far as having my sweet tooth. So I have one meal a day at 12 o'clock, one o'clock, and then I have my Keto Dessert at five o'clock. So that's what I eat, one meal a day, and my Keto Dessert that I make myself. Again, I've done some videos on how to make the cheesecake fluff and the rum and chocolate ice cream. It literally takes five minutes to do. There's no baking involved. It's just mixing the ingredients together and putting it in the fridge. And it's lovely. You will not be disappointed if you've got a sweet tooth doing these keto desserts that I've done. They're fantastic, they really are. So, okay, those people who want to know how much have I lost in week nine, and this is the end of week 10 now, I have lost the equivalent of this. Now this is a bottle of water, one and a half litres, so that's one and a half kilos. I've actually come down to, and this is the scales, I've come down to 95.5. So almost 1.5 kilos I've lost in this week from 9 to 10. So I'm still going strong. So my initial goal was to come down to 95 kilos when I started my keto weight loss journey here on the videos. And that was like 10 weeks ago. Now I've got to my 95 kilo, just about. And I'm looking and I'm thinking, no, I'm going to go even further. So I've mentioned in one or two of my other videos that I might come down to 90. Well, I'm definitely going to go for the 90. And then we'll see where I feel like when I get to 90 kilo. But the difference in my body, as I say, I'll put some pictures up there from when I was 118 kilo, which was my heaviest. And everybody's seen this picture by now. And then this is when I started. This was at 106.6 kilo. And now this one here is at 95.5 kilo. And I'm still enjoying the diet. I've, I will never ever get to that stage again where I'm overweight. It just gradually, gradually slips on and slips on. And that was my trigger point when I got to a size 44 waist on pairs of shorts. 
that's when I decided enough was enough. Now we all need to re reach that trigger point before we actually do something about it. And also another trigger point for me is when we sort of were told to go on lockdown with the COVID in Thailand. So I thought, well, we're staying at home. We, we don't go out to eat now, so I'm, I can be in control of my own food. So that's when I started cooking the different foods and the different recipes. And there's hundreds and hundreds of keto meals. You'll never be bored eating keto meals because they're so easy and they're so... Once you become keto adapted, you don't feel hungry, you really, really don't. So from Les, on the keto diet, from fat to slim, hope you enjoyed the video and I hope I inspire other people to lose weight. I get plenty of emails from those people that have followed the diet and are losing weight on the keto diet. So good luck and best of luck to all of those people that are on the keto diet and anybody's diet journey to lose weight. It's only a healthy way of living by losing this weight that you don't need to carry around. So from Les on the Keto Diet from Fat to Slim, till the next video, bye for now.